Greetings and gentlemen, Dwyer in here. It is Friday and that means it's another wonderful day for basics. And today we are apparently on OGS. How is that a possibility? Did I create a brand new account? Because keep in mind, keep in mind, my account right now, the last one that we made, did get up to one done. It's really easy and I don't want to keep making accounts too because they just keep rising really, really fast. Like what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Nine games and we're... Okay, that's actually a teaching game. Eight games. Yeah, like eight games and we're back at one done. That's no good. That's no good. Here's what we're going to try and do instead. We're going to try to get a game on my account, but I'm going to restrict... And this is, this is what makes me nervous. I'm going to restrict 5 to 10Q. And we are going to set up no handicap, so it is going to be an even game at 15.33 not ranked. Now, by doing this, I don't usually do this. I don't usually do this because people usually play differently when they know they're playing against a stronger opponent. And if a 10Q challenges me and I play them, they know they're against a stronger opponent, right? And that's not very useful when you yourself, maybe as a 10Q, are trying to actually rank up. But we'll see if we can actually play basics on our one done account against the 10 to 5 Qs. All right, so we have a game here against, I don't know, an, oh, a 9Q. All right, nice. Let me go ahead and do a 3-4 and say, hello. All right, apparently this 9Q is attaching to me. So here's the thing. Either he does this routinely, or I'm being trolled. Let's go ahead and take a quick little peek at uh, his profile. Is he a new account? Uh, he is not a new account. Okay, good, good. Just making sure, just making sure. Um, well, now, <clears throat> now that we've established that, I'm gonna go ahead and protect my little cutting point. I could go in here, I don't really wanna do that, so I'm just gonna go and do something a bit like this. And he's going to get some influence, that's completely fine. I'll extend twice. And then go and grab my little outside like so. Okay, I can get a little bit more, that's fine too. Don't mind that. Um, high head two and three stones kind of sucks. So tell you what, I will Hane here. Because this is fairly straightforward. And then I'm going to go ahead and connect again, I feel. Alright, so he's got this. I'll go ahead and split like so. He's attaching to me again. Apparently that is what the guy does. Uh, at this point, I don't really see a reason to Hane. I'm just going to go and casually take a little bit of a base here for myself. Maybe give a little bit of a token Hane, as it were. I could double Hane, but that's not really that basic. So here's what I'm going to do instead. I'm just going to... Um, I'm going to connect. Connect nice and strong. I'm going to double high head of two stones, because that is very, very basic. That is very, very basic. I could threaten it again here, which is amazing. Because that rolls up his little group into like this little itty bitty box here, covering up these two points. So that's fine. Uh, Alright, I will defend. At this point, we are completely fine, and he, owes us a, he has a cutting point, and he must defend. So he didn't really do that, but you know what, let's not... Let's not uh, worry about that right now. For now, what we can uh, concentrate on is the fact that our groups are fine. He's trying to take this area. We've got a little invasion point here, but it looks like there's enough room to just flat out live in here, doesn't there? Because like, we can connect this way, or we can go this way, right? Okay, he's going to connect. He's going to attach to me again. That's fine. I will uh, see what he wants to do here. Um, because I can connect, because we can threaten to, you know, live, and I can play something like that, because it threatens to, you know, go down in there. Um, let's go ahead and settle. It's gonna go ahead and settle nice and calmly. Just get myself a little base. Yep, a little bit of a base here. So it looks like we're alive now, because we've got access to the base. We could go and uh, connect up over here. So we seem to be fine. Let's go ahead and take an enclosure now. 
<laughs> he's um all right. He's trying to grow the area again. He's very very consistent. That's good. We're strengthening our weak stones because these two stones were stronger than our one, so that's completely a okay. I'm going to go and try to poke in here from this direction, see if I can't squeeze on in. All right, he's going to cut me. That's fine. I'll protect my my stone over here because I can Atari this way or I can Atari this way and, you know, kill those two stones. So it's all good. If you were really good at reading, you could go down in here because you see that this Atari doesn't go anywhere and that Atari doesn't really go anywhere. But for now, I'm not going to worry about any of that. I'm just going to go ahead and play over here. All right. So we're taking these three stones, making a really, really large corner. Now, now he is going to get like one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So seven, fourteen, twenty-one. Uh, let's just count easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not too much. That's not too much. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. We're getting one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, that's almost that's almost exactly what he has there, isn't it? Plus we can like go in here. I mean that's that's a problem, right? Giving us this much fifth line. Ooh. Ooh, that one hurts. Oh, that one hurts. He needed to extend again because you can see here there's the Atari and then yeah. That was a bit much. Gotta watch your cutting points. Gotta watch those cutting points, especially if you're trying to take a large area. It's easy to invade it the more weaknesses you leave behind, right? So you, you gotta watch those things. Those things are killer. Absolutely killer. Gotta be careful. Now, you might notice that my uh, audio is a little bit low here. I apologize for that. I've got a little bit of a, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, a plugin to change the countdown of my, uh, the countdown on this server. As a result, the stones are a little quiet. Here you can see again, he can't, Tell you what, that's okay. That's okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and seal this area off, and I'm gonna seal this area off, and then we'll just call it a day. It's an interesting, it's an interesting style of play. Uh, unfortunately, the area in the middle is not worth giving up the sides, right, and the corners, which is precisely what I've obtained for myself here. I mean, don't get me wrong, he has one corner too, but one corner in this. It's just not enough, I'm afraid. I think that cutting point could be a thing. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Uh, connect up over here too, I guess? Oh, that's, that, that's deep. He plays here. Oh, wow. Okay, I gotta play this one. If I play this one, he pushes down an Atari into an Atari and then with this cutting point there, kind of kills me. Gotta be careful. He is playing very, very quickly though, which is a little bit of a bummer. I will definitely be playing again. Play down to make certain that, um, I don't know actually. I think it's just better shape. <laughs> Go ahead and connect on up. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm quite unashamedly reading this. Do, 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 tell you what, you know what, let's, let's go ahead and just play that. Cause I did read it. I'll play here so this is easily or con more easily controlled. He should Hana here now. He didn't, so I will. Um, same thing here. He could clamp and do shenanigans to me. Whoa, he didn't Hane. That's weird. 
Honey will be better, because now we are completely all one group. Don't want to go to Co, so I'll play that one. This no longer works, unfortunate. But we kind of just gave it away, because we are more than enough territory. Interesting strategy, just trying to... Uh, maybe he's trying to understand attachments better? He's always experimenting with them. I don't know. I'm going to put here because like there's a cut and a thing down here. It doesn't work, but I played it anyway because I can't read. And I don't mean that like as in, you know, in this series we don't read. I mean, I actually thought that was a thing for a minute, but I'm matching his speed, so it wasn't. And I just didn't see it in time. Well, that's okay. Because once I play this one, I've got one, two, three liberties. Here's how to kill it. You just sweep it. Bases that are undercut don't really work out so well. So you can see here that as long as we're undercutting his base, he has to like do weird defenses in Gote, so he can't make life there. Okay, I'll defend these stones. Maybe he's trying to hunt and kill them or something. This is not a cutting, not a threat because we've got uh, that, and then this there's not enough room to live. So this is nice uh, and effectively dead. I'll tarry here, and then I think this game lasted like no time at all. Interesting. Um, last move that I can see anyway. All right, I'll accept the removed dead stones. Okay, so we went by 37.5 uh, here, which is good. So let's go over this game real quick. Uh, particular game. He attached to me immediately, which is very, very unusual. You don't want to attach to your opponent's stones like that. Uh, it tends to make them stronger. Now, I hunted over here. I expect that if he wanted to, he could do something like this and try and get a result that way. This kind of works with the stones a bit more. Uh, instead he played this way, which is a little bit strange because I could extend here. And now the only thing that he can do is be undercut, right? This is this will be the proper way of figuring out what to do. Like which way do we extend? Do we extend this way? Do we extend this way? Well, here he's got development potential. This is third line, so it's not as interesting. So we're gonna extend this way. This cut uh, doesn't do anything. There's like so many different ways you can respond to this. So many different ways, so many different ways. Let's say he gave him some influence. Maybe he took some influence, which is not bad. Not bad. Um, does need to extend though, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then here, even this is arguable. Maybe this is an okay thing to do. It would be much neater if he just played something like this. Maybe even back off. Don't even try to fight it. Give me an okay corner here. And then maybe, I don't know, just see where that see where that takes you. See where that takes you. We got a wall, got a corner. It's nice and strong. We're extended from it. There's easy to see good whoops, not that one. There's easy to see large follow-ups like this little guy here. We could make this into a game still, unless white really starts getting in there immediately. This is this is still a game. Instead, he's a little bit not not so uh, not so patient, and he's just trying to develop all that again. This needs to be like here at best, or at worst. Um, because playing here, I mean, I, I that's a double Atari, right? So you could play, I don't know, here. But then that was a free move. So what do we do? Do we do this one? And then this one? And then something like over here. Now this group's under attack. And then what about going over here? Going to keep me in still? Can you still keep killing me? I don't know. 
It's looking, it's looking a little dangerous. Looking a little dangerous. You can see how these forcing moves. Get a couple of them in, and the influence is just not uh, all that great. We need a nice, strong uh, influence if we're going to keep developing it, and eventually, maybe one day, call it territory. Can't leave them cutting points behind. After I lived here, the game was mostly over. He could play something like this, but it's really going to be tough to not get put like back on that line that we had earlier, because I don't really need that much territory. I really don't. I really don't. Like, even this is too much. He can't let me have this. And his 3-3 is available. And that corner is still open. And I can extend over here. And I can be harassing over here. The middle looks larger than it is. Here we defended this way. Again, if you wanted to, you probably could have actually played here. Because this kind of thing... You can see that it just dies. And then that, oh man, so important, so important. I mean, the corner loses you the game. This is too, way too much. For those of you who are wondering, there's this, 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 that, that, into there. And then those stones are dead. Same thing here, for Atari, uh, for Atari into this. And at that point, at that point, it looks like we're uh, getting into the center again. Like now what do you do? I, mean, I can cut that, right? Because the Atari, do you defend? So how? It's pretty, it's, it's bad, it's bad, not gonna lie, it's bad. And then here, the, I mean, I'm just way too far ahead. Maybe like one by what, 40, I think it was, something like that. So in that regard, we could have actually let the uh, corner invasion live, and we still would have been ahead. But I do wanna go over that again. Because as long as you're strong, and you're not giving him like forcing moves, like even this isn't alive. Right? Even that's pretty dead. No matter how you play it. But at this point, the corner invasion just isn't enough. We need to like invade here and then find some way to like get rid of the territory. But at this point in the game we just can't do it. So uh yeah, that's that's the end of that. Don't leave your 3-3 invasions to the last minute. If you want to do it, it's got to be closer to the mid game. Not so much, not so much the end game. All right, so we're here again this time as a, uh, well, one Don still. But now we're playing an 8Q. Hopefully this one doesn't attach to everything that we play. Uh, good luck, huh? Oh, looks like this guy's playing a bit more reasonably. That's what I like to see. He has some, oh, okay, there we go. He does have other games. Okay. Just checking. I am not above killing this game if it turned out he was a new account just to play me. That wouldn't go well. But here we're responding to everything over here because we're just going to be playing Jiseki, which is nice. Now we're going to uh, approach the wider site, which is either this one or this one. I think I will... But we do prioritize the 3-4, don't we? Yes, yes we do. Very well then. 3-4 it is. Looks like we're more territorially oriented, so we will go ahead and approach low. <laughs> He's attaching to me to build this area, which is a little bit strange because I should have had a bit of a difficulty here settling with the presence of this one stone, uh, but now I'm not actually going to suffer any 
ill effects from it. It's kind of nice. Now I got nice, easy, how do you do base. Approach index Y this side now that I've settled. Seems legitimate. All right, kick to me, I'll respond. Kicks, attachments, shoulder hits, things like that. We do respond to these things. <laughs> Look at that, got kicked again. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and back off here like Sue. Interesting. I'm going to extend, push him to the corner, because he didn't have enough room for a two space. He tries to get it anyway, but now he's hurting himself, allowing me to Hane at the head of two stones, as according to ye old proverbs. I can double Hane at the head of two stones. That's what my proverb tells me, folks. I listen to them proverbs. Let's see, he's got the cut here. Yeah, okay. All right, so we get this in exchange, he gets this. So clearly not Jaseki, as in not an equal result for both parties, uh, and definitely favoring me. So I'm fine uh, with the result there. He leaned against my stone, so we respond. Uh, now that we've responded, we can play elsewhere. Where next large is put on the board? I think I see it. Do you see it? Do you see where that largest point is? I bet you do. It's the right side, right? You knew it was there. You knew it was there. All right, so I can throw in a move over in here, but I can't see how to get two space extension for our base. So we're gonna we're not we're gonna not do that. It seems too dangerous. Well, instead, we're gonna look at maybe the shoulder hits. And uh, you can see that this shoulder hit kind of tends to grow this area a bit more. And there's no real growth over there. So we will shoulder hit from this side with the intention of kind of trying to grow out into the middle of the board. Something a bit like that. All right, I will go and extend. Do you want to take time to point out that it is the end of the month? If you have not received your uh, games back for your Patreon reward, they are on the way. Don't you worry about a thing. All right, so I am being disconnected. Hmm. Well, tell you what, I'll respond to that once because it's kind of hurting my stone a little bit. And then we're going to go and make ourselves a little bit of a turn here because we're threatening a two space extension. Yep, kind of like that. Just go and grab ourselves a little bit of a basey base. Now we're not 100% alive here. Ooh, don't like that. Gotta be careful. Let's defend. Got a three space extension there and he was capping it. Um, we're kind of at war right now over this point. It's kind of cute. Um, tell you what. This move is a little hard to read, isn't it? Yeah. Bit tough, bit tough. I'll go ahead and play here instead, then. That's fine. I think this one's a bit easier to read. Ooh, being surrounded. Nice. I like. Um, Defend the weakest group which is this one right here. 
Shoulder hit, respond. Looks like the push and the cut doesn't work because of the ladders and things, so I will go ahead and jump out. The reason why we're jumping out in the middle of the board is because if we do not have stones in the middle of the board, then it immediately falls, well not immediately, but eventually, falls to our opponent. So we're not going to be doing that. No siree. <clears throat> Alrighty then. Um, again, pretty much same thing. This is our weakest group, and we want to maintain connection into the center of the board. So I'm making it an extra move to be extra careful about the center of the board. Hit my stone, respawn to that too. Um, looks like we're good. Alrighty then, folk. What are we going to do now? What are we going to do now? Well, there is a weak point here, there's some weak points in here, but Let's not get all bent out of shape about those, huh? Uh, kinda want to play it anyway, though, to be honest. Um, while I'm pondering, I'm playing a move. Ah, this is kind of large, but I don't know. Because it threatens to, like, hurt the base again. I don't know where to play right now. What would be basic? Play here and then here? I am honestly not sure. Hmm. Throw. This is kind of scary. Doot. Yeah. Because if you didn't play here, doot drop, doot connect, doot threatens both at once. Um, I'll go ahead and cap there, that way I'm poking at the pokes that he's left behind. I'm not actively, immediately poking the pokes that he's left behind. We're just threatening to poke the pokes he's left behind. Getting surrounded, let's go ahead and solidify this. Uh, I'll play it, why not? This isn't the greatest result in the history of ever. I kind of changed my mind halfway through what I wanted to do. Oops. Um. Save it, I guess. It's our stone, we played it. We'll rescue that little guy. Because he's on our side. I defend. I don't think the middle's worth very much, so I'm going to go ahead and play here. Alright, that is a thing. Yep, 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 yep. Gotta be careful of it. Gotta be careful of it. Threaten to kill off one of my stones. Same thing over here. Same thing over there. So this is a nice chunk of territory. So is the left. Mm -hmm. All 
right then, that is a uh, Tari, so we respond. Make myself some shapes, I got a little cutting point, small night dealio uh, going on there. I'm gonna go ahead and push a little bit here. And then respond. Got some territory there, don't want it to disappear. Don't want it vanishing on me. Yeah, that's a thing. I will respond. Now we're alive here. Pretty much entering end game. Very, very straightforward games. Last one was over aggressive. This one's quite passive, to be honest. Not sure if, uh, if this is how the guy normally plays, or if he's playing this way because I have a shiny 1D next to my name. Hard to say, you know? Hard to say. Excuse me. Back to end game. Back to end game. Okay. Uh, hmm. Try and take the stone. Pretty decent end game. Unfortunately, at this point, we can see that he doesn't really have much in the way of territory. So it's going to be a bit of a bumpy ride for him to actually win the game. I think it could be quite argued that the game is, in fact, over, in fact. Pushing because the Hane threatens to go after the cutting point. Right. Hmm. Doot, 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 doot. Nah. Let's go ahead and just poke a little bit. Go ahead and poke. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and take this point. Not sure if it's the best one, but I'll do it. My endgame is notoriously bad. Let's not change that now. Okay. Can play here, I guess. Maybe this is a thing. Do 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 two liberties. Yeah, that's a thing. I'm gonna play here because it gives me these two points. If he pushes again, I have to play here. Not so good. So this is uh, this is only this is small, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Like I said, my end game's not that great. So the rest of his end game, not a lot of Sintan, both parts. C19, ooh, that's actually a really good move. 
was about to say it's a good move too was about to about to say <laughs> that uh, C19 is a good move because it's Sentai. Hmm. All right, so he made a couple of points in here. He made a couple of points in there as well. It's not bad. I'll get this one in because this is Gote. All right. Okay. Pushing, pushing, pushing. I like. But. I can play here first because if he goes up, that's an Atari into a ladder. Really, really easy read. Really, really easy read. See, now he can play. <laughs> Rest of this is going to be endgame, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and probably do a jump cut or something. See you in the review. All right, so here we are again, back with a review. And this went pretty straightforward. He opened up fairly normally, though I would say that it's better to do a uh, Chinese variation here, but that's okay, it's okay. Here, better to pincer, keep pressure on the stone, maybe even kick, though that's very, very, not the end of the world, but it's better than the attachment. Because attachment, uh, need to kick me now, by the way. I'll probably come out as well because I don't want you to surround me. But there's clearly nothing over here on the left, on the right side of the board in order to develop. So this just actually is not that great. Kicking is also questionable. Here it's better to just go ahead and settle if you can. There we go. Wasn't advancing the environment there. Proverb. Double high had two uh, three stones, so we did. Got rid of the Aji. He shouldered us, so we responded. This isn't bad. Though, in order to attack me, I think he needs a, no a move like this. Now we have to try and make some shape here. This would have been so much better than the actual. Because in the actual, I got territory here. So that wasn't good. So there's that. And from here, he kind of just began playing endgame. So yeah, not a whole lot else to say in this game. Uh, besides that, he's kind of gave me too much early on. And the reason why he did that is because he attached to nowhere on the upper right, which wasn't so good. And he's never able to split the bottom. Also not very good. I mean, being able to, like, to split the bottom or invade it or do something would be really, really nice. Instead, we kind of played here. It didn't go well. White's getting too much. And yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, you have to kind of do something here right try and put pressure back on your opponent don't don't just like casually take the loss need to find some way to fight back i mean i was betting on something like this later on there we go yeah think about something like that anyway wasn't to be Kept taking those large points, and that was pretty much the end of the game. Very straightforward, basic games. 
a little bit on the dull side, I do agree. Probably be back next week with some more Thai gem. They're a little bit more upbeat and fighty. Let's make for some really interesting games. But overall, play this game is a good time to time. Make sure that you know um, your direction of play, your big moves, all that kind of stuff. Always important to know where those are coming from and where they are and making sure you're not missing those at all. So this is this is good practice. This is good practice. This is really, really good practice. So thanks to James99 for allowing me to practice this and showing you all a little bit more of a basic game. And as always, I'm Dwyer. Hope you enjoyed today's basic games, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.